As a beginner, I struggled with polar alignment and guiding and trying to get the stars looking perfectly round. And there's an impulse as a beginner to just buy better equipment and buy more stuff and buy your way out of the problems you're having. One of the problems you can't buy your way out of, however, is balance. If your telescope isn't balanced, you will not get those perfectly round stars. You'll have guiding issues, you'll have all sorts of alignment issues. It's a huge bugbear. But the good news is you only have to learn how to balance once. As long as you know how to balance and you've done it once, you'll be able to do it over and over again. And then you never have to think about it ever again. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to balance your equatorial mount. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. So first things first, you've got to get your telescope on. And before you put the telescope on, put the weights on. You might know approximately how many weights it's going to take to uh, balance. This is way too much. I did this earlier. So you've got your weights on, you've got your scope on. So now we want to balance them in RA and deck. Be careful with counterweights. Make sure they're screwed on properly when you have them on the bar there. They can slip while they're imaging and that throws everything out and it makes a huge bump and it's really awful. Um, also, I do have a friend who's a subscriber on this channel who actually needed dental work because one of these slipped down and hit him in the face. So, you know who you are. Now, I think I know that I'll need about this many weights, but what we want to do on the top is load it up with everything you're going to use. Uh, your camera, your guide scope, because all of that is going to change the weight. So you don't want to balance the scope before everything's on. Okay, so that's about how I want it. First of all, make sure that these are super tight because you don't want to start balancing and have your OTA just fall off onto the floor and crash. We need to balance the deck, which is this way. And I like to do that first. And the RA, this way. So I'm gonna do one and then the other. Now some people like to do, uh, put this completely horizontal first and balance the RA. I'm not gonna do that. I like doing the vertical first because I think it affects the RA later. So what I'll do is I'll take this clamp off and I'll put this perfectly sideways. And if I let it go, you can see it wants to swing, it's back heavy. So because of that, I'm just gonna lock it back down again, open up the adjustment screws and see if we can get it a bit more front heavy. Way too heavy on the front now. So just repeat this process until it's nice and balanced. That looks good. So it's completely horizontal and it's not shifting up or down. Now we move on to the RA balance. So for this one, we're going to loosen off the RA clutch and put it sideways again. But already before I put it sideways, I can feel that this is top heavy. It wants to move. So I'm just gonna put this back push the counterweights downwards. If it's top heavy, putting it further downwards will make the center of gravity a bit more in the middle. Now if we have it exactly sideways, horizontal, we can see easily it's top heavy. And I think what I'll do is add another counterweight. Straight down the middle, and now it's bottom heavy with the counterweights. I'll actually need to move them up and just keep adjusting until you get that sweet spot. That's looking pretty good there. It's balanced, but because everything in the sky moves from east to west, you actually want it to fight east a little bit so the motors engage the gears nicely and the gears sit. If it's perfectly balanced, you'll get gear chatter. So what we want to do is actually just ease them down just a touch so it's a little bit heavier on the counterweight side so the motor has something to fight against. Not too much, just a little. And that's it. You'll also find once it's like this, you can basically put it at any position and it will stop and stay there nicely. So once you've got to that point, you can tighten the clutch. Now OPT's video shows that you can put it sideways as I just had 
and they said you can check the balance of the deck there. I don't like to do that because you can't adjust that way. You'd have to put everything back up, adjust the deck, put it back and then spin again. I like to just do the top one first, and then the bottom RA, then you're good to go. So that's it, super easy, really beginner level video, but if you don't know how to do it, it can really screw things up for you. Life is all about balance, so don't forget to play guitar, because as you know, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die. Thank you.